Today I'm going to show you how to replace a different kind of battery for your e-bike computer that can basically last forever. So let's get started. So this is just a regular e-bike computer or odometer and it's powered by a very small battery. There are some information in here that I want to save like uh, the distance, how far I have gone and once in a while the battery is gone dead and I have to replace the battery, but the battery is really small and once I re uh, remove the battery uh, all the information that I saved in here are gone uh, including the odometer and uh, the uh, uh, programming uh, information so when you put in a new battery you have to reprogram the computer again which is the diameter of your wheel and that's the pain in the butt you lose information and you have to uh, reprogram this thing again every time you replace a battery let me remove the cover so you what's inside Twenty thirty two button cell batteries. This is a three volt battery. And this is the battery that I'm gonna replace. This is the original battery. You can see the size compared to the original button cell battery. And uh we put this to power this. It's gonna basically last forever. So the question is, why am I able to use a much bigger, much more powerful battery uh, to power this device? The answer is voltage. You see, this battery is three volts. However, when new, it's not three volts. Uh, this battery, when new, is between 3.2 to 3.5 volts, uh, depend on the manufacturer. And I got a new battery pack here. Let me show you the voltage of a new battery pack. There you go. 3.27 volts. This is a uh, Sony battery pack. This 18650 cell here is at 4.2 volts at full charge. But it's not going to be 4.2 volts all the time because it's a rechargeable battery, so the voltage will reduce over time. Plus, the difference in voltage when near between this and this is only about 0 0.7 volts. You take 4.2 minus 3.5, and that's negligible, and that's why you can use a uh, lithium-ion 4.2 volts to power this. Even though this battery is a lot more powerful than this, this device here doesn't care how more powerful a battery is. The only thing it cares is if the battery is within its operating voltage, which is about three, between 3 to 4 volts. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through this and run my wire through. And according to this battery, it's the positive terminal is on the top, right? So this should be the positive terminal and the one in the center is the negative terminal. Alright, I am done. I'll show you what I got here. I solder my wires to the positive and negative terminal while I run out I drill holes through the device so the wire run out through the hole to the battery that's it, very simple and the device is on close the lid voila I'm good to go. Now I have to program this thing so 
this one I'm talking about when you know uh, we have to replace this kind of battery you have to reprogram it that's a pain in the butt and usually we don't have the manual but anyway I'm just gonna show you quickly how to program this thing um, first you have to reset it to zero and the way to do it it's different between you know what model you have but uh, for this one uh, there's a button on the back here so I just press and hold all the button at the same time and it will go to zero and we'll start from the beginning and see here it's kilometer, kilometer per hour and press, and press this button change to mile per hour, I want it to be in mile per hour right? and then I press the red button to OK now is the uh, complicated part this number here represent the circumference of your wheel and it is in centimeter okay so um, my bike circum uh, diameter is 26 inch I know uh, my uh, the diameter of my bike is 26 inch so I'm gonna convert it to centimeter Okay, times 2.54, I got 66 centimeter. That's the diameter of my my uh, my wheel. And to calculate the circumference, it's d times pi, or 66 times 3.14 is 207 centimeter. So my number is 207. Okay. So let's go up here and just press and hold. Well, I remember it wrong. Uh, this one actually, if I press the red button, it will go down. So it went to 300 maximum. I gotta go down, so just press the red button. Down to 207. Here we go. Now I just press the set button on the bottom. It should be set. There we go. That's it. I'm going to wrap the battery in black tape so it will blend in with my back. So another question is how do you charge this battery right, when it's low? Well, um, I already soldered everything together. The point is you don't want to disconnect this, right? Because you don't want to reprogram this. So how do you charge it? Very simple. Got a couple of magnets. Stuck it on the terminal. Right? Got the charger. And just stuck it on. Just like that. And then turn on the charger, it will charge this battery. And it will charge this battery when this device is on. This device is on, always on. So it doesn't matter what, uh, charging or not, it's going to be always on. However, I would say it's very highly unlikely that you're going to need to charge this pack. Because, look at this, compared to this. Let's say, uh, this battery is about usually around 200 milliamp hour. This 1800 milliamp hour. And because this is very low power, you can get more juice out of this. So let's say 2000 milliamp hour, right? So this is about 10 times equivalent power as this. And usually with one of these, um, it typically lasts for me about between six months to a year. Depends on how heavy I use my bike. So let's say six months, half a year, right? Heavy use. So this one now can last five years under heavy use. Um, five years? That's a long time. And this one is very, has very low uh, self discharge. So it will last for at least five years under heavy use. So if you don't use this as much, it's probably going to last the lifetime of your bike and uh, you will never have to worry about recharging it. Alright, let's put it back on. Just like that. This is going to be just 
right down here. And this is going to zip tie together, that's it. There we go. Beautiful. Now I never have to worry about replacing battery or reprogramming this thing ever again. Alright folks, and that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.